Hi everyone and welcome. Today we we'll talk about automated analysis. I'm going to introduce a couple of tools that you may want to use in order to make your life easier. So let's get started. Google Sandbox monitors the behavioral process while they run in an isolated environment, analyzes files as well as websites under Windows, Linux, macOS. Android virtualized environments. Damsen analyzes network traffic with or without SSL TSL encryption, traces APA calls, analyzes memory, mostly used as automated malware analysis system. So here you're gonna have some sort of virtual environment in which you have the main host and a bunch of virtual machines in which the software is going to be tested. So that's important because even when and even if your virtual machines become corrupted, you wouldn't care because those are just virtual machines. You can just restore a snapshot, you can delete them, you can create new ones, right? So the Google host is going to be running the test onto these virtual machines and then when they are over, when they are done, it's going to produce a report for you, right? Yara is a rules-based tool extremely helpful to reverse engineers, mainly used to identify and classify malware families. Rules are based on textual or binary information combined with Boolean logical operators. Rules can be applied to files or run in process. And this is how you use it. So you have Yara, the application, and then you have to provide a rules file. And then you can choose to analyze a file, a directory, or a running process. Engineers can either create their own rules or they can use one of those that are already available and can be downloaded. And now let's have a look at some practical examples. And those are the rules I created for Yara. First of all, I'm importing the PE module because I want to be working with Windows application. Then I created my first rule, rule name, tag, and condition. If the condition is met, then the file that's been analyzed is going to get labeled using the rule name while the tag is only used to filter in and out the rules that you want to run. So the first condition is met when the file size is bigger than one megabyte. This condition is met when the application is a 32 bits application. This is met when the application is a 64 bits application. This one is met if the application is a graphical application, so it's using a UI. This is met when the application is using a console. In here, you're looking for a call, assembly call, pointing at a generic empty address that is going to get filled in by a loader, for example, right? In here, instead, the condition is met when this string is found. Look at this, no case, right? So, likely this application is going to be using the kernel 32.dll and so on. Let's see what happens when we actually run the application. So, Yara and then my rules, and then I'm gonna scan an entire directory. Okay, 
So the installer for Firefox is a 32 bits application, which makes sense. Most of these installers are actually 32 bits application. And then it's saying that this installer needs a graphical interface and an environment able to run UI, which is true. Also saying that the installer contains the kernel 32 DLL strings, which is likely. And also is saying that this file over here is bigger than one megabyte. So as you can see, Yara doesn't just analyze executable, but also zip and any sort of file action. And then this file as well is bigger than one megabyte, right? So let's see if we analyze something else inside maybe and break. Okay, yes. That's interesting. Again, 32 bits application, but this is a DLL. So it doesn't use the UI. It's actually using the console, right? What else we have here? That's a 64 bits application. And then, yeah. And then let's see what we can find. Yeah. Okay. So pretty much the same. We have that that's a 32 bits application. And this one is using only the console and so on. So, I hope you've enjoyed my class and uh, thank you very much.